Welcome everybody, Jamil from the Work From Anywhere Accelerator here. I appreciate you taking the time to, to take a look at this interview. And uh, we have Eric Haskin with us today. Um, so Eric, why don't you introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about you. Hey, so yeah, Eric Haskin, and I'm, uh, I've been in software for a long time, um, but also um, building websites for the last few years. And I came across uh, Christian Martin um, on uh, Facebook and through his ads and decided to join the Work From Anywhere Accelerator uh, a few months ago. Um, so I'm just at digital marketing, just like uh, you guys are. And um, I, I like it, love it, and um, enjoying the uh, the ride and uh, the Work From Anywhere Accelerator program. Awesome. So when you came on board, you saw, you saw the webinar and all, what were some of the first steps that you took when you signed on board? Well, it was, training so I just I, you know, I took the I, I went through the first all the steps you know and, and tracking and doing the, the things that are uh, mindset related and setting your habits and you know, so I, I really like the first uh, couple modules um, and I consume that information probably two or three times in the first week which is a lot to watch in, in, a, in a week um, multiple times but um, I did that and then once I had done that I started you know, from there, I just started um, the, the, qu the quick lead generation things that you can do, like updating your profiles on Facebook and LinkedIn. And um, and then I started reaching out to Groupon, uh, the, the whole um, quick Groupon things. And I landed a client like the first couple of days. Uh, first, it was the second week. Um, and so then it was like, oh, my gosh, now I have to figure out how to do Facebook ads. I have to figure out how to write the copy. I have to <laughs> Which the, the beautiful thing too about the program is these are proven campaigns and they're already written for you. So um, obviously you need to check your market and, and check your client, the, the client you're working with and their business um, to, to make the uh, copy more for them um, and the ads more for them. But that, that was kind of the, the first thing I did was training and then just started calling on clients. And so it's, um, it's just part of the, the daily grind now. It's just a habit. You know, I have my um, things going every day and autoresponders and different things that I've got set up now because of what I've learned in the program. Um, so it's just, um, that's what I, that's how I first started, I guess, is to answer your question. Awesome. And so how familiar with you with uh, the idea of Facebook ads and funnel templates and running sales funnels before you, you joined in? I was more on the web development side and WordPress websites and um, enterprise software development. Um, so I hadn't really gotten into digital marketing specific, you know, um, targeting specific people um, on those platforms so that you can get your message in front of the right crowd. Um, and that, I think that's one of the things I've learned um, is, is it's really about the message and the offer that you're putting in front of but you have to put it in front of the right people to get the response you need. And then once, once you get the response you need, then it's optimizing your funnel. So there's a few steps in there and I didn't know any of that stuff. Um, obviously I know about, you know, good copy on web pages and um, images and things like that. But um, the, the interruption marketing, some of the things that Christian talks about and that you've talked about uh, over the course of the last few weeks since you've been involved in um, the training part for us, um, have, you know, it's been very influential in how I'm running my agency. Um, one of the things that I, that I've gotten a lot of response from is when I have results and I post those results, people are like, oh my gosh, I need this. So like the first client I had, I started posting their results and then all of my friends were like, what are you doing? You know, how do you do, you know, I need to, you know, I have a, a friend of mine that's, um, works with uh, people that have sports injuries and uh, he's a chiropractor. And um, so I'm going to rebuild his website, start him. Some, but it was all because of the results I was posting. He was like, you know, I've been watching this and I really, I'm interested now. So, you know, help me build my business. So that's what I'm doing. That's awesome. So obviously you've had some pretty awesome successes in the last little bit since you joined on board. Um, t tell us a bit about the wins, like what clients you brought on board, what results you've got for some of those folks. So the first one was a massage therapist and um, he, he was a paying client right out of the gate. Um, but it, it, his, the, the whole thing with him was he was paying Groupon. They were taking half. 
you know, we can build him a funnel that um, where he doesn't have to pay that kind of money to Groupon. And so it's really changed his business. First week, we got seven leads. I wasn't really good at it then. But after refining and, and working with you and Brittany on uh, the landing page and some of the other stuff that we were able to do, um, he got 18 leads in a week, um, just a couple weeks ago. Um, so it was like, awesome. I mean, that's more than he has time in his schedule for really because he only does uh, that massage for four days a week or something like that so anyway <clears throat> that was one um, then I got another client that um, is a thought leader and coach person um, and she's um, got a training that she's built um, we haven't launched hers yet because all of her training isn't ready and stuff but I've got all the stuff built ready for it it just hasn't been launched yet so we're waiting to do that um, I'm really looking to get into the um, financial advisor space. Um, and so you helped me. We created a, a funnel for a question and quiz and some copy for that for financial planners and financial advisors. Um, so uh, I've got a trial client. And we're about to launch uh, their campaign awesome. um, in the next week. And he's a little bit cautious and conservative. So he's wanting to review the copy and review the questions and do a lot of things like that. So we're not, we're going a little slower than I'd like to, have, you know, I'd like to have launched it last week, but um, it's probably not going to launch till next week. Um, and then I've got another client that's uh, in the insurance space and benefits. <clears throat> so he does, he's a mortgage bro or an insurance broker. And um, so he works with businesses from five to 50 employees. And we just launched his first ad about three hours ago. So um, I had a little review call with him and now we uh, launched his first ad. And so it's, currently sitting in the uh, fa uh, in Facebook's review yeah. under review. So once it, they approve it, we'll start to see those leads, but um, also use awesome. some of the cool techniques too with um, Zapier. And, you know, so that as soon as a lead comes in, he's going to get a text message and it's um, really cool when you can tie some of those systems together and having the training and the knowledge base that you guys have to share that with the community um, it has been a very big benefit for me. That's cool. So you said you're, you're about a month in and you have what you have five, five clients between trials and all. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I think it's four, four clients. Yeah. That's killer. That's killer. You've done some really uh, awesome work. There. The other, the other one, <clears throat> the other one that's a chiropractor, he wants me to redo his website first. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he's going to start the lead gen in a couple months. But, um, at that situation, because he's a friend, I didn't push him too hard in the sales call. And yeah. that was just yesterday. So he's got to review it with his wife and that kind of thing. But as soon as he's on board, um, that'll be another. So yeah, that'll be five clients. And um, since I, I started um, in March, okay, the end of March. Call so we got April. Months or so yeah, two months. That's yeah. awesome. That's phenomenal. So I mean, obviously you, you have a a really solid ramp up that happened right there. So I guess what's a uh, what's your best advice for folks that might be hitting a wall or might be saying, you know, how do I get that first client? It's consistency. Like I do this, the lead gen is every single day. Like, um, and I, my computer runs probably nonstop. And I actually, uh, the reason I'm on my phone and not my computer is because I've got a fan whistle going on. So whenever I run a call through the, the it, it goes, woo, woo, woo. It sounds like something in the background, but anyhow, um, it, it, it's it's the consistency of delivery. So I think I'm I'm always um, reaching out to people, communicating, and I'm giving. You know, when I have strategy sessions, I've kind of I've already got their information. I've already taken a look at their website, their Facebook pages, their LinkedIn pages, and and um, so I've got a mindset of you know things that I can help them with, but I, I don't hit them with that right off the bat. You know, I go through the sales script. And then once we get towards the end of that, you know, it's a conversation about how it can help. And here's some things that I've noticed just from looking at their sites um, and their, you know, different profiles, what we could do as some quick wins. And I think people enjoy that or like that uh, benefit. But the other thing is, um, is being real with people. So you have to treat these. I mean, they're not just numbers, right? They're people just like we are. So I'm building relationships and whether I, land somebody right now or I land somebody a month from now uh, based on our conversation. So um, one of my, I didn't even tell you about this one. Um, it's a, it's a commercial cleaning business here in my hometown. Um, and I just landed that one and he paid me 
uh, Thursday last week. But um, that was a face-to-face meeting, and it was a conversation, um, and it was like a month and a half ago when I sat down with him, and he said, I'm planning on doing something in the summertime, but right now I'm too busy with uh, new hires and employees and some new clients that we just brought on. Um, so I thought I was, a, I was never going to get that client, right? That was going to be a, 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 no, a no deal. But um, last week, he reached out to me and said, I'm ready to start, and I was like, what? It's like, I thought, I thought that was a goner, right? It was like, you know, I've got to think about it kind of thing. It wasn't, a, he was ready to do it back then, but he just had some other things he had to get done. So I, I'm, I'm all about getting the sale right now when I'm on the phone with somebody, but I realized that um, they could use some other, they, they may need time. And so I, I will follow up with people. So I've got another person that is, is interested to see how the insurance funnel goes with uh, the, the current client I just launched today. And if it goes well, um, you know, she'll sign up uh, next month. It just depends on how many leads we get, you know, and, if, and my results and I'll share my results with her. And, you know, at some point she'll say, okay, I'm ready. Let's do this because people, that's the thing that I, that, that you have to understand too, is that these other business owners, they need leads in order for their business to survive. And yeah. so they have to do it one way or the other, whether they join a networking group or they have, you know, good contacts or they, they stumble upon or they have some referral group that they're part of that brings in leads their way. We all need leads as small business owners to survive. And it's, you know, how do you get those and doing it this way um, frees up your time because it's, you know, you're just paying for ads and it's dropping it right into a, a funnel where you can use that to communicate to the, um, the clients. So it's, very automated and getting them to understand that and that it works is um, is the challenge in that sales call. But once they understand it works or if they see those results posts, boom, you know, you're there. So I think that's the big thing, Jamil. If, if we all could have a, um, a case study or a client that really worked, you know, these are proven campaigns that we're using, but I've never run it before, right? I've never done a mortgage broker campaign or I've never done a real estate agent campaign. So, those agents are looking at me thinking, can he really do this? You know, can I trust that he's going to do it? Um, and so once you have results, the, the, the sale is much easier, you know, results and testimonials. Yeah. That one result of, Hey, I can, you know, here's what I spent. Here's the leads that came in. Here's just how automated that was. That's phenomenal. I actually, that's absolutely phenomenal. I appreciate you taking the time. Um, I, I definitely hope this helps quite a few folks because consistency is it's king, especially when it comes to prospecting and bringing in clients. So that's phenomenal, phenomenal advice. Uh, so thanks again for, for taking the time. This has been an absolutely phenomenal little chat. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll connect after this. 